In this overview, we are going to demonstrate three items. First, we are going to show you how a cryptographically verifiable COVID-19 digital certificate can be generated within DHIS2. Next, we will show you how this certificate can be generated using an online public web portal. Lastly, we will show you how this online public web portal can be used to verify the certificate. In the example that we are showing you, the relevant vaccination data required to generate the certificate is collected using DHIS2 Tracker. The program may have other variables, as is the case here, but at minimum, it will need to be configured with the WHO recommended variables for generating the COVID-19 certificate. We are able to generate different versions of the certificate depending on if the person is fully vaccinated against COVID-19 or not. In this case, the person we are viewing has received two doses of the AstraZeneca vaccination and is considered fully vaccinated given current procedures in this country. With all of the data on this person being entered for both the first and second vaccination events, we are ready to generate our certificate. We can do this directly from the person's record by adding a new program stage called Vaccination Certificate. After adding in this stage, we see a button, Generate Certificate. This process of certificate generation includes sending the relevant demographic and vaccination event data entered by health staff to a certificate renderer from DHIS2 via an interoperability engine. As part of this process, the certificate will also be signed by the public key infrastructure and sent back to DHIS2. Let us proceed to generate the certificate in DHIS2. The certificate uses a template that includes both plain text, such as their name, date of birth, and vaccination details, and also includes a cryptographically verifiable QR code. This is the code that can be used to verify the authenticity of the certificate. This certificate can be either downloaded or printed and given to the individual for further use as required. As an example, I could save the certificate to my computer by using the save icon. We are also able to generate this certificate outside of DHIS2. The person accessing this certificate will need to enter certain identifiers in order for DHIS2 to retrieve the details of their record and render the certificate. The identifiers chosen here can be modified during the implementation period as needed. Similar to DHIS2, the Generate button will trigger the process of certificate creation. This process includes sending a request to DHIS2 directly to retrieve the details of the record, followed by DHIS2 sending this information to the certificate renderer. This certificate is also signed by the public key infrastructure. Instead of displaying the certificate in DHIS2, however, the certificate will be displayed directly within the web portal. In this case, to generate the certificate, there are two identifiers plus a verification. Once this information is entered, we can select the Generate button in order to generate our certificate. We can see that the certificate generated here is exactly the same as the one that was generated within DHIS2, including both demographic details as well as details of the vaccination. At the top, we also see the cryptographically verifiable QR code. 
The last item that we would like to demonstrate is the process of verifying the vaccination certificate. In this example, we will demonstrate using a combination of the web portal along with a PDF copy of the certificate in order to perform this verification. This must be done using a device with a camera. We will use a phone in this demonstration. From the phone, we can enter our verification details and select Scan. This will open up our camera and allow us to scan the certificate. The certificate will then be scanned and verified using the public key infrastructure. We can see the response after scanning the certificate, showing us that it has been verified. We also see the details of the vaccinations that the person has received so far. This output can be modified based on the certificate type that you are verifying. In this overview, we have demonstrated how a framework for the generation and verification of a COVID-19 digital cryptographically verifiable certificate has been implemented in DHIS2. To learn more about the technical details associated with implementing this certificate, please visit the HISP Vietnam GitHub page as well as the certificate demo site. We also have a dedicated page on the COVID-19 certificate work we are performing globally via our website. If there are any questions about these initiatives, please do not hesitate to contact us on the community of practice.